I'm Jacob from the Sustainably Yours Homestead, and today we are going to harvest, clean, and dry some wood ear mushrooms. that had a pretty good collection of wood ear mushrooms on it. I've never tried these before and I'm finally confident enough in my uh, identification of them that I'm pretty sure that's what they are. I'm, gonna, I'm willing to give them a try. So I brought the log in and I figured I would video my attempt at harvesting these guys. So I think what I want to do is just pluck it out like that. And you can see there's where it was connected to the log. Huh. Check that out. Man, it looks so much like an ear. That is insane. There's a good cluster of them coming up. Uh oh. I'm gonna separate all of these things out of here. Oh, that feels so weird. Okay, that's good enough there. Plenty more. All right, so we've cleared that log. Got a couple here on this one. And there is our harvest. I have a few more that I've already harvested. They're upstairs, so I'm gonna put these all together and get them washed up. And then, I don't know if we'll set up the dehydrator or if I should just let them sit out to dry on their own. Here's the log that I pulled those off of. I think I'm just gonna take this back outside where I found it and um, see if I can grow some more. I'll just keep an eye on it. All right, so I think to clean these, I'm just going to turn on a little trickle of cool water and we'll just make sure we get all the dirt and everything out of them. I think that'll do right there. Just set this off to the side over here. Okay, so for these spots, the places where they inserted into the tree, I think I want to cut that out. It seems like I read somewhere that you want to get rid of that. So I'm going to cut that out of there. We're going to take these. I'm going to set up the dehydrator. We'll dehydrate them overnight. We ended up with about two trays. So I'm going to go ahead and stack those. There we go. We're, we'll turn this on. I'm going to turn it on the lowest setting. And we'll see what this looks like in the morning. <laughs> and here's what they look like once they're all dried and shriveled up. doesn't seem to be nearly as many here anymore and you can listen they're, they're now pretty crispy um, and crumbly if I, if I wanted to I could crumble them apart that's how you know that they're dry and ready to be stored and we are going to place them in a jar I'll be able to seal it up until I'm ready to use them that does not seem like all that many. 
Then again, I don't know how many of these mushrooms a recipe would call for. So I'm gonna do some looking around online trying to find a good recipe that I wanna try. When I find it, I'll be sure to video the experience and let you know how it tastes. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If so, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you would like to see how these mushrooms turn out in some kind of a recipe, or if you would like to follow along while we try to turn our home into a homestead, then be sure to ring the notification bell so you'll know when to be back for more daily sustainable living.